In this video, we will see 10 places to visit in Port Kochi, Kerala. The first one is Vipan Port Kochi Jankar Ferry. This ferry connects the southern tip of Vipine Island with the northern tip of Fort Kochi. This ferry is the shortest route to get to Fort Kochi from the Ernaculum. If you're touring Kochi on car or bike make sure you take this thrilling unique transport as one in your agenda for Kochi, you will not regret it. Get panoramic view of the Kochi's marine drive as you cross to Fort Kochi. Chances are very high you'll see giant cargo ships, gently entering the port while on the John car. Once you reach Fort Kochi, hire an auto at Fort Kochi for Rs. 500 to see all the spots which are coming up in video. The second place is the Fort Kochi Beach. And we move on to the third place. St. Francis Church. Well known for its beautiful architecture and ambience, is believed to be one of the oldest churches built by the Europeans in India. The famous explorer Vasco da Gama died in Kochi in 1524 when he was on a visit to India. His body was buried in this church. The fourth place is the Indian Naval Maritime Museum. The Maritime Museum in Kochi is an ode to the glorious past of the Indian Navy. The Indian Naval Maritime Museum on Beach Road, Fort Kochi, is open from 9.30 a.m. to 5.50 p.m. on weekdays and from 9.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. on weekends. Tickets are priced at Rs 50 for adults and Rs 25 for children below 12 years. Located on the INS Dronacharya, the museum throws light on the genesis, history, evolution, and landmarks of the Indian Navy. The Navy's origins in Surat along with features on shipbuilding are particularly popular attractions here. It prevented the Portuguese from making Kerala their base, says Gerard. Paintings and frescoes take one through seminal events such as the formation of the Indian Navy. We also learn about Kerala's trade links with the Arabs, its maritime hero, Kunjali Marakar, influence of India's maritime power in Southeast Asia. The Lons have scaled models of the vintage Bofors gun, AK-230 Soviet fully, automatic naval twin 30mm gun, the Sea King helicopter. The missiles on display were brought from the National Ammunition Depot at Kalamassery and the helicopters belong to INS Garuda, the aviation wing of the Indian Navy. Fifth place is the Dutch Cemetery. The cemetery is among the most visited sites in Fort Kochi. The cemetery was consecrated in 1724. Sixth place is the Dobi Kana. The first sight that welcomes us on entering the Dobi Kina is a group of men and women ironing clothes. It is said that there were 70 ponds and 13 acres of land which were owned by the Vannins. These washermen offer laundry services to houses, hospitals, hotels, hostels, and some government firms. Established in 1975, this is where Tamil-speaking Vannins work as washermen and washerwomen, which has been the traditional occupation of this community. Seventh place is the Indo-Portuguese Museum. The museum preserves the rich heritage of Indo-Portuguese culture, art and architecture in Kerala, owes its origin to Dr. Joseph Karithra, the erstwhile Bishop of Kochi. The museum houses an invaluable collection of artifacts that reveal the Portuguese legacy in Fort Kochi and the yes in surrounding areas. After walking out please don't miss to try this unique drink the Boost Kaluki. It's worth a try. It is located opposite to the museum. The eighth place is the Fort Kochi Shopping Street. This is a perfect spot to shop authentic Kerala-style dolls and different varieties of things. The ninth place is the traditional wear shopping. You can shop the traditional Kerala saris and dothis here. These are handmade fabric approved by Kerala government. The tenth place is the Spices Market Fort Kochi. Feel the exotic odor of the finest ginger, cloves, cardamom, turmeric and pepper, also known as black gold, emanate from the spice warehouses lining the street and fills it. Enjoy your Fort Kochi experience. For more such content please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. 
Thank you.